Well, we're finally here. The place that you never thought we'd get to, right? We're at the end of the class. You've done what you set here to do all week, what you came for. You lived up to the commitment, no matter how difficult, no matter how stressful, uh, no matter how uncomfortable. You persevered. You had the right attitude. You, you, I mean, you, this, everything that you did, you did with passion, with enthusiasm, with just unbelievable commitment and belief in yourself, belief in your team. You took great skills and great talent, which you came here with, and you did what every professional does. They took their toolbox and they went in and added some new tools. You were never here for any reason other than to take exceptional skills and make them even more exceptional. Often in our life, because of people we know and it could be companies we work in and surroundings and things that happen to us. We forget. It gets put aside. The review process that we talk about in learning and the review process that we talk about in the, in the seven steps and so forth, we forget exactly how much talent we have. We forget exactly how much power we have. There's only one thing I told you days ago that you're in complete unadulterated, undeniable control of. And it is what you choose to think. But all of those thoughts, all of those actions, all of these hours that we put together, that you did the hard work on, that you looked at your ideas and philosophies and molded them and built them and said, I'm going to put something else in. And that you came here open with, to accept input, from me and, and, and let me let me share with you some of my ideas and my successes so that you could put them with you all of those things all those beliefs all of what we choose to think will mean nothing if you don't do the next step having a goal is important you know if you have a dream that's important but unless you write it down it never really is an action. You know, it's never really a good, it doesn't become a goal. And to get excited to put in this effort, the only thing that means anything is if you put it into action. You have to have faith. You have to have a belief structure that says, I can do and be more than I am right now. No matter how good and talented you are, no matter how storied your career is, in the past is the past. The present is here upon us, and what we all look to now is the future. And each and every day we carve a new part of our legacy. Who we are, what we contribute. Each and every one of our goals in life, I believe, should be that wherever we pass, whoever we touch, whoever we come in contact with, whatever experience we're involved in, it should be better off because we were there. It should be better off because we touched it and we were committed to make it better off. This week you were committed to make every contact, every place that you went, every business transaction, every personal transaction be the best it could be. But you know what? When you leave here, that commitment can fade. Not because of you, but because of the surroundings. The world will beat you down. People will beat you down. They'll tell you you can't do something. They'll tell you you can't approach business this way. You can't be this personal. You can't have this much integrity. You can't have that much morality. You can't do things because it's right. You just got to uh, do, do things to get ahead. The only way you get ahead is doing what is morally right. The only way you get ahead is doing what is ethically right. And the only way you really get ahead is to believe in you without regard to what anybody else says. You are the most important person to believe in. And from the belief in you, you will inspire the people you touch, the people you come in contact with, to be the best that they can be. Every one of you has met somebody in your life, or more than one person if you're blessed, who an association with them, whether it be lifelong or a brief passing, you can feel it at that moment and say, I'm better off for that and you feel good inside, and you well up inside, and that's what this is all about. 
For you to carry the ideas and the torch to somebody else. For you to leave every place you go, your clients' situations, better. When you leave and they say, my gosh, that person did something that other people wouldn't do. That's a real professional. I know no compliment that any person, no matter what their career could be, that's any better than someone to sit back and say, wow, what a professional. Wow, what a professional. I finally met one. And I know nothing better personally that when you come in contact to somebody and when you leave they say, wow, what a decent and good and caring human being. Those are the things that we strive for. Excellent friends and relationship and business and the money that comes from that are all the byproducts of a belief in here. Not here, but a belief in here that you were put here to do something greater. No matter what you've achieved, there's always more to do. There's always room to be the best. There's always the opportunity to be committed to excellence. You know, we put this on everything. I don't even believe it's attainable. Right? We stamp everything you have. Commitment to excellence. We got shirts. We got pens. We got notebooks. Right? We got lines every place. I don't even believe excellence is achievable because the world doesn't sit still. See, if it sat still and never moved, we could get there. But it does. Every day, something changes. And the commitment means that every day for us to pursue that day, that moment in time, being the best that we can be. A lot of people look at this on a big scale. Wow, yeah. If you make this thing big, it's, tough to, it's just tough to swallow. It's tough to chew. Right? It doesn't have to be big. It's this interaction, one-on-one, -on -one, this moment in time you've got to make the best. This contact, this sales call, this work, this research, this attitude when it's easy to be down because someone said something or did something or things aren't right, when life has dealt you the card that you say, why me? What did I do to deserve this? If you have the attitude and the belief and the faith, what will end up happening is you'll get paid a thousand times over for those things. Maybe not at that moment, maybe not on that call, maybe not with that person that isn't doing the right thing, but it will indeed happen. I don't do long wrap-up talks because, and you're saying, well, this is, this is long now. <laughs> I don't do long wrap-up talks uh, usually because if I do it past a certain point, I'd get too choked up. Because although I've done my very best all week to give you all of what I can in this period of time, knowledge and experience and energy and passion and enthusiasm, it pales. It absolutely pales in comparison to what you've given me. The honor and the privilege to be up here. So on that, I tell you, look to the back and remember that your success tomorrow is in direct proportion to your commitment to excellence today. Thank you very much. Remember the commitment. You can call me anytime. Thank you. you know, so I look forward to get the newsletter too. Okay. I'm already signed up. So Excellent. Thanks, 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 sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, John. Usually, I appreciate it very yeah, much. I was actually uh, talking with uh, Mark. He's like, you know, how did everything go? And I said, you know, 
I was pretty much an empty site whenever I came in there because I just started in the sales. And, you know, of course, I had all the you know, other skills I saw in my life, but this, this benefit me so, uh, benefited me this so much. And I'm going to apply these techniques. As it says in my notes, you, you allowed me to cross from my world into this one. Oh, well, fine. Really fantastic. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. The evaluation is only went to 10. I have to go change it. That was an 11. Oh, thank you. I, I, um, I'm so impacted by everything that happened here. It's been amazing. Well, go back and do something with it. Definitely. And you know, your company is looking to do other things and expand the university. Right. Make sure Mark knows. Uh, you you uh, help Mark. No, you've, made, you've made a big difference. Thank you. Give me a hug. I'm going to have to thank you a second time. Thanks again, Mike. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the hard work you put in being a pro. Not enough, but I tell you what, you yeah. between the two of us, we've had their little moment in time and hence the lives. And we've been That's what counts, baby. There That's you what go. counts, isn't it? Take yes, care. Yes, it does. Thank Take you. Care. Thanks so much.